In Huntsville, Alabama, a hybrid public boarding school hoping to be a blueprint for the future of education. Almost from scratch, you're building a drone that you can market out in the real world. Here, the high school morning bell is replaced by a symphony of creation. Whether it's the glass, the open air, we want this to be a lab school. We want to be a national model. We kind of didn't want it to feel like a school. We wanted the vibe to kind of be an exciting place to come in. What is this? So this is our robot. They move side to side. Oh. It's tracking itself. Right. You're talking literally about almost reinventing the wheel. Absolutely. <laughs> You're cutting metal with water in your shop class in high school. Yes, sir. Come on, are you gonna show me how to use one of those? Oh, nice. Okay, that was harder than it looked, but this school is designed around all things STEM and all things cyber. And yeah, that means they're even teaching high schoolers the dark arts of hacking and defending. You've got this room's network up, yes. and you're able to see everything that's connected, all the different data that's being shared across this network. Yes hypothetically hack the network or protect the network. Yes. And you're doing that all in code in the classroom. No other school that I know of has anything like this. As for the more traditional core subjects like history and language arts, same familiar titles, but with a twist. We're all so interested in the STEM field, the engineering, the cyber, and that really drives our artistic like endeavors as well, as well as our history, our literature. You start to realize that engineering kind of ties in with so many subjects. Social engineering, psychology. I right, mean, those right. are everything is really down to how things work. When it comes to grades, there are no A's, no F's. We want grades to reflect what students learn. You know, what do they know? We kind of got that from industry. It's like, hey, you got to write a proposal that works for this. If you're not there yet, go back and fix it. And getting them ready for the AI-infused workplace of tomorrow means every student must finish all their core high school learning in three years. And when they become seniors, they leave the school every day to work a real-world job in either a government agency with an aerospace contractor or private industry. What do you do? So I was working under a grant with the DOD called the Viceroy Grant and through a local college. The Department of Defense. Yes, sir. And, and you're in high school. Yes, sir. Who are your mentors that you meet with? Mine works at Deloitte, and he's been very helpful. It's those kinds of partnerships and funding that make this school, where about half the students live on campus, tuition-free. How would you respond to somebody who might see some of these classrooms, see a private company name outside of the classroom, and be a little bit put off by that? We couldn't have this school today if we didn't have our private partnership, and we got incredible partners. As for that high school dorm life, how many live on campus? You live on campus, live on campus. This is dorm life. This is where we all live. This looks like college. Kira Richardson is starting at Harvard in the fall. Is it scary first moving to your high school? Oh, absolutely. Being 14 and moving out of my home. If I may. Yeah. Uh, what? You, you have a rocket? You have a rocket under your bed? I do. What? Like so many students we met, she gets excited about the day she'll finally get to launch from a school <laughs> where preparation for the future means learning to fly high above the rest. So the answer is, how do you engage these students into a learning environment and give them ownership of that? You're not just building these drones, you're programming them as well? Oh, uh, yes, sir. <laughs> In the fields I'm going to go into, I'm going to be learning all the time. Could you imagine going to a traditional high school after this? Uh, no, I could not. <laughs> 3D printed carbon fiber rockets under a high school bed. Incredible stuff. Go Sentinels. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.